So here, in V, at the V, the V is actually a place where we go and where we invite a lot of you for only one purpose. And that is so that we could give you the seed of belief. It's really a belief system. Now, I compare belief as a seed, you know, because I, I was once a farmer as well. And I, I feel still at my heart, even doing this business, the principle of farming pretty much applies to it. Okay, belief is the seed of success. So remember this. Success has a seed, and that is belief. So we're giving that away here in VCon. For those people who are still not believing, we hope that by the time we end this VCon, that somehow you've received that seed of belief. You get excited. In fact, you, why would you not get excited after hearing all this wonderful speakers, successful uh, AVPs, V partners, and so many other uh, IRs that went through VCon experiences. They got the belief. But see, they did not just keep the belief there. You have to do something. Just like any other seed, the belief must be watered on a regular basis. Even today, why am I still here today after 22 years being a partner with my friend? Why am I still here? Because I still believe in the company. I still believe in the process we're doing. I still believe in rhythm. But this belief, I have to water on a regular basis. So I water it by atten attending trainings. Still, even today, I like, spend the whole day watching VCon, all the speakers. And every time, although, you know, I hear, and I've been hearing the same stories, meaning same principles, uh, the principles of motivating, believing, you know, not, uh, what do you call this, uh, facing challenges, having bigger, like what uh, VP Sati was just mentioning, that our, what do you call this, our uh, reasons must be bigger than our challenges. It's very true. So you hear that. In fact, there's nothing I'm hearing today that I have not heard from Dr. Vijay from the very beginning of our, you know, when we started. So whatever you're hearing today, you might be hearing it again and again. And that is the watering part, okay? So don't think you just need to water your belief once. Don't think you're just going to be attending VCon once. Oh, I have attended VCon. Some, I heard some arrogant IRs would say, oh, I've already attended VCon. Okay, what will I hear that I not heard? In fact, they're just going to repeat again. The same thing, the same story, the testimony I've heard a thousand times. But you did not hear why did you not hear? You did not water the seed, meaning it didn't get through you. It did not water the seed. And I know why the seed was not watered. Because you're not successful today. People I see that are successful today is because they constantly water or have watered their seed of belief. I have been trying to water, not trying, but I make sure I water my belief on a daily basis. Even that to make sure, he, makes, he always makes sure that I get to water. He always reminds me as well, despite the last 22 years, he would always remind me to water my belief. That's why there's, like I was explaining just yesterday or the other day, was this important of constantly engaging and training. So this is really what VCon is all about. So what do you take home? I mean, you're not at VCon where you, you need to go home. Normally, we say take home, meaning what, what could you take from this? Okay, what could you take from this is that you should not stop, basically. There must be constant uh, uh, exchanges. There must be constant watering of this belief because your belief, just like anyone's belief, could die if it does not water, just like any seed. If you don't water a seed on a regular basis, the plant, even if it reaches a little bit bigger or even if it gets a little bit bigger, if you stop watering it, what would happen to a plant? It would eventually die. So constant, uh, constant watering is necessary. 
And just like I always used to say in the early days, because some of you, a lot of us from the very beginning, I remember I was expecting uh, some results right away. I was expecting some harvest from, you know, whatever I was doing, immediate, immediate uh, cash or immediate check. I want to achieve something. But that is not possible. When you're growing a fruit, when you're, when you're in a season, they say when your season is your planting. Okay, when you're in this season right now, when you're just beginning and you're planting belief. And what belief are you planting? Just like the seed. We're giving you the seed. We expect you to give the seed of belief to all the people you're going to be meeting. To all the people you're going to be signing up, give them the seed of belief. Teach them how to water it. And while you're doing this, you cannot be expecting that you'll be doing some harvest. Because you're still growing your belief. You're still growing your business. Okay? You're still growing others' business. And so there's a season for harvest. And they say the season for planting is now. And you don't do okay, harvesting on the same season while we're planting. So what you've seen with a lot of the leaders that came up on stage, they're, they're in their season right now when they're able to harvest the fruit of all the seeds that they have pretty much planted back way 20 years ago, 10 years ago, 15 years ago. And this seed must be, you must be constantly planting, you know, just like a farmer. A farmer does not stop one time he planted. He doesn't stop. He constantly plants. And that's what we are. We're actually farmers. And what do we farm? We farm the people. Farming meaning we, we encourage them to be successful as well. Just like we want to share the same success stories that we're having today. And we simply do that by giving them the belief. This believing, believe, believing in themselves believing in the process, believing in the company, the product, the people who signed you up, your upline. This constant belief must be built. And how do we build it? By constant engagement. And this is really what it's all about. This whole business is really simple. If you encapsulate it, right, we don't really need big degrees to be successful in business we don't need to be a doctor to be an engineer to be anything in fact sometimes and i've seen this especially people who are very uh, who has a lot of degrees they somehow think that oh i already know what this is i already know this business i advise you that when you enter this business in the beginning be humble and like we always say from the very beginning, have an empty cup and make sure you learn what you already think that you know. No, relearn it. Learn again because principles of network marketing is totally different from any principle of just selling, from any other principle of other businesses. The principle is actually building relationship. And you may be wondering, in fact, most of the leaders that have come up here have not in any way spoke about the product, not so much about the company. We have our corporate people doing that because that's, that's as much as that is very important, okay? One very aspect that uh, connects that is the relationship we bring. So whoever you bring in to this company, in fact, you become responsible because you are sponsoring them. You're like adopting them into a system. You know, just like when you adopt a baby, you take care of them. It's like you nurse them. It's like a nursery. You nurse them until they grow. And so me and Dato always, always tell people that your training never stops. It's not like, okay, go through this ABC training. Okay, then, okay, you're, you graduate, you stop. No, I, I never graduated with my training with Vijay. And I, always make, I would always make sure that I engage him. I ask him questions, even stupid questions. Why? Because by asking him stupid questions, there would be some engagement and there would be always a pickup. There would always be a lesson there. But see, engagement also comes very painful at times, especially when you're, you know, when, you know, when people are becoming successful, and I tell them this, they're not as hungry as before. And this is a warning to all the 
arrogant V partners, <laughs> AVPs that have somehow become successful. They're like athletes that don't practice anymore. They get fat. They don't work out anymore. And so they start sometimes losing the battle, losing the fight. Why? Because they're not training. They're not working out anymore. To be an athlete, you must constantly be top shape. Same thing with our business. If you slow down, if you don't work out anymore because you have your big car, you have your big car, uh, you have your big car, you have your big houses, and you have somehow achieved a lot of your dreams, they start having this successful complex wherein they slow down. They think, oh, I've already achieved. Why do I have to work hard? Why am I have to facing this challenge? In fact, sometimes you start hearing Complains, for this, complains from these people because they're no longer hungry. But don't be like that. We must always be hungry. Because when we speak of hunger, we're not just hungry for, don't be, I'm not saying don't be hungry. Don't be hungry for wealth. Wealth would come. Cars would come. The house, these are all byproducts of what we are trying to build. Okay. But if you're going to chase for those things, okay, it's, it's, it's a mirage. It's harder to chase. But if you chase, okay, if you work on the seed of your belief, if you work on the seed of people's belief, that is the very core. That is what's going to fructify or fruit, the fruition of this. The result of this is, would be the wealth, the success, whatever things that would actually come from this tree of belief that you're planting. So focus on this, people. Okay, focus on this. It's very important. Today, we're, we have entered a different era of the world order. Okay, most of us are staying home right now. Okay, because of the COVID challenges we're ha having. We don't know how long this would be. But at the same time, we're also blessed that we have a system today where we could still reach downlines, where we could still sign up downlines, where we could still train and engage with people. Me and Dato, when we started, we didn't have this. The only thing we have was beeper. I don't know if you even know what beeper is. We used to wear this proudly. And when it beeps, we have to run to a pay phone and call, and it's not even an emergency. And this is how we used to run. I remember we, we got our first cell phone. We were so excited, but it was not even a smartphone. It was just, you know, a big Motorola where you have to carry this with a huge battery. And this is how dinosaur we are. <laughs> but with the system, even us, we're learning this new system. It's so exciting. And I was saying, if only we had Zoom, only we had that kind of system, that you children have today, I don't know what we would have become. If this was 22 years ago, we would be bigger than we are today. So you don't have any reason in your home, okay? You don't have any reason at all to tell us that you cannot do this business because it's COVID, it's lockdown, because we have proven and I was just hearing a lot of testimony. And I know because I'm engaging with those people. They are signing up today, even signing more people today. And they're no longer worried about the troubles that they normally get. Because before, I remember, we, we encountered troubles when we're having our, our events in the hotel. Because we get so filled up, so the hotel would kick us out because you had have people... With their application form, they would be in the lobby signing up and all of this. So we would always be kicked out of hotels. We would be kicked out of coffee shops. Okay, And, and it causes disturbance because some, some, especially in some countries, they start thinking, oh, there's some rebellion going on. <laughs> Why is that? Because there's a thousand people discussing things and they're so serious. And they're making circles. And some of them, they're even talking about a bomb. Because we used to call our presentation at that time, BOM, Business Opportunity Meeting. So after some time, in fact, after 9-11, we said, wait, we got to change this. Because, you know, we might get in trouble by saying, hey, we're going to do a bomb. <laughs> okay. Or, you know, Sachin just did a bomb in India or this or that. So today is a business presentation. And we, we have to adopt even our lingos. 
our language that we use right now, we're adopting to the time. So guys, this is your time. Okay, your time has come. And your time, I would say, is the best time because you have all the technology there. You are the millennials, pretty much a spoiled generation because you have everything on your fingertip. You could be everything you want just by the click of your finger. You could watch and you could have access to so many training tools. That's why, you know, I'm not even, uh, I don't even need to come here and teach you the ABC of network marketing. Just like before we would really focus on training on this. You could, you know, you could read books on online. You could buy books from, you know, uh, Amazon and you get whatever facilities, information you need to understand the principles of network marketing. So, but see, the, the courage, the enthusiasm, the motivation to wake up, to work out, to train, this would not happen unless you fuel your belief. So, in the V, in the VCon or VConnect, the only thing we could do as leaders, as your upline, is to externally motivate you. We're trying to burn your asses, you know, to somehow get up and do something. You know, you, you could see the passion that we have coming up on stage. Just like I'm actually talking to a camera right now and a few people on this side. But we know you're out there you know, listening to us, so we we want to transfer the passion that we have in you. For at least this would somehow carry you for what two weeks, three weeks sometimes, because external motivation could only carry you. It's like a fuel that would carry your car. But I always say that you must also find an internal motivation, an internal uh, reason that would motivate you to go and train every day, to go and sign up every day, to do the things you need to do, build relationship, okay? Build yourself, all the things you need to do must come with a strong desire, okay, that you wanna succeed because you believe that you can do it. So please take this belief that we're sharing with you, okay, we're real. We're real people. We've been around the last 22 years. So if somebody tells you, and if somebody still comes to me and tells me, Japa, is this a pyramid? I'm going to slap that guy's face, <laughs> okay? 22 years, come on, give us a break. I will take that nonsense that if we're, a, you know, you might be a pyramid, like our first year or even five years, I'll tolerate it. And, and you could ask Adley how I tolerated this criticism that we are a pyramid company, the first two, three years, okay. But after 22 years, come on, I don't even want to hear it. It doesn't bother me at all. Say what you want to say. That's why from the very beginning, I always thought the leaders that we have today, I remember reminding them, guys, the dog barks, the caravan moved on. The caravan moves on. So there's always going to be this media thing about this, about that about how we are this, we are that, all negative things, okay? What do you want to believe? You're here with us right now. You don't even know the people. You don't even know those writers writing those nonsense on, on the paper, on the news, and all. There's the news right now you don't even know what to believe anymore because it's all fake news. So I would say, hey, that's just fake news, which is true. A lot, we had a lot of fake news about us. And that's the reason you're here. You can listen to us and find out for yourself. Don't just believe nonsense. Find out. Cement your belief with solid facts and truths. Just like whatever belief we're giving you would not be enough if you're not going to cement it with facts. So find out more facts about who we are, what the company does, what the principle of network marketing is, get more facts and use those facts to cement your belief. And the more you cement your belief, the more your belief would be solid, the more your belief would grow, and the bigger your belief is, the bigger your checks would become. 
the bigger your belief is, the bigger your dreams that you could achieve. The, be- the bigger your beliefs are, the more you will be harder to chop. Nobody could chop. Can you, can you, would you think today that somebody could come up to me and discourage me from what I'm doing? Could anyone try? You could put a hundred people in front of me who's just totally negative, okay? What I'll do, I'll turn them around. By the time I'm done, okay, they would be following me. But I'm not following this 100 people. Why is that? Because I am, I have become a tree of belief. My trunk of belief is solid. 22 years with Datu's training, I have become, I would say proudly, I'm not arrogant about it. I am a tree now. You cannot just cut it. But a flexible one like a bamboo. And we always teach this. Be flexible like a bamboo. Not like a... Not like this tree that could, you know, very rigid. So we're very flexible. That's why we could wave during challenges. But that's what we all want you to be. Be strong. And you could only do this by yourself. So get all the information you need. We're here. And what you have to do, VCon is what? Every year, twice a year, you might have some regional training. But VCon for me, for all of us, is a daily process. Like I said the other day, training day happens every day. Why is that? Because you don't know what challenges you will be facing tomorrow. So my advice to all of you, my downlines, all of you, okay? I don't care who you are. You could be a V partner, okay? Constantly cement your belief. Don't give up, okay? And... Don't just expose yourself when you're still little, when your belief is still little. Don't expose yourself to the belief getter, you know, the dream stealers. Don't expose yourself to negative people because you could easily die. Even today, despite me being strong in my belief, I still don't expose myself to negative people. I don't allow them to enter my house. I don't invite negative people coming to my house. I only invite positive people coming to my house. And if they're negative, by the time they leave my house, they would be positive. So unless I could turn them around, I don't invite them in my house. So this we must do. This you must do. If you want to be successful, this you must do. Turn your belief. Turn that seed into the biggest ever success of your life so thank you very much ladies and gentlemen ladies and gentlemen ladies boys girls mother grandmother now you've seen the business that your children that your sons your fathers your husbands are doing please give them all the support because this business is not easy it's not a, a quick scam thing it is something it is a process that you must build and we need all your support especially the family needs to support you need to support that networker that you have in the house join them in their in their in their journey because by jo- uh, by joining them in their journey you will benefit not just financially but you will benefit in the growth my mother today has never been much more happier because she has seen her son not just become wealthy, but also has grown to a person that she is so proud of. So, and this is what we could become as networkers. So it's not, you know, putting the money aside, putting the success aside, we could be a better person in this process if we do take this journey. So, you know, from my heart to Datu's heart to the V partner's heart, from everyone's heart, I really like, love to thank all the organizers of this event. Thank you so much for joining us. I know it's, it's the first time, but I've been watching video feeds that are being sent through WhatsApp. It's amazing. You guys from Syria, from Sudan, from all these different places in the world watching us, you know, and still doing this VCon despite 
the, the situation we had despite doing it on virtual, we're still able to do it successfully. And I believe it's more successful than other VCons because we're far more rich, reaching to more of our downlines worldwide. So I could not imagine the effect that we're doing on this VCon because we're not just reaching 20 thousand people. I, re I know that the 20,000 people that we reach every VCon, uh, live VCon, probably would reach 100, 200,000. But today we're reaching 200,000. So that would be like how many people? That's the way to reach the billion, the billion uh, people that we, me and Dato always dream to touch, the billion hearts that we would like to touch during this event. So I'm very much enjoying this new system of talking to you because if you don't take this belief, okay, Ama, Apa, please come to me, we'll talk and I'll, I'll, I'll train you. If your son is not taking this seriously, please slap their faces for me, remind them because that is your duty. Every time your son is is losing their motivation, Ama, Apa, please slap them on my behalf because, see, they're going to be missing the greatest opportunity that they will ever have in their life. So, everyone, thank you so much for watching, and I would end my talk right now. Thank you so much. Namaste, namaskar, salam alaikum.